Hey Libra, welcome to your general reading. General readings do not resonate with everybody, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. This is being published in July, but it can be viewed anytime you click on the video, it's for then. When you get the message, you'll always get it at the right time. Um, these are the Akashic Tarot deck that I'm using. I just feel like these are better suited to air signs. Um, don't tell the other signs, but <laughs> hey. Um, so yeah, these are the Akashic Tarot deck. Because Everybody always asks me, then I'll be moving on to the Gilded Tarot deck. So let's see. The Four of Scrolls, the Karmic Trenches. So you at the moment could be doing this karmic work or somebody else could be knee deep here in you know karma at the moment having to go through certain experiences this is something we all go through so it's not necessarily negative um for some if you've been putting in the good uh, work out here this could be you know good karma being received but i feel like um maybe you're having to putting some karmic work here at the moment or somebody you're dealing with is having to put in the karmic work and they're in the thick of a karmic situation right now so let's see here seven of pentacles so yeah it's putting in a lot of hard work and not really having anything to show for it at the moment so you know um for example um you could be putting in a lot of hard work with a soulmate here and they're off doing what you consider not the right thing to be doing because it's not your karma so they're off doing their karmic work at the moment and you're you could be left waiting here or putting in a lot of energy and not getting anything out of this situation um so i feel like definitely you may feel like you're in the trenches at the moment doing a lot of hard work here Five of Wands, yeah. This is rough energy. I mean, I just did Aquarius. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, check that out. Because this was like inner conflict and tough energy that um, they're in at the moment. I am publishing this in July. So we do have a retrograde. Um, this Seven of Pentacles and Five of Wands, you could be questioning, should I continue to wait for somebody if they're in the karmic trenches, should I let them do their work and move on? Yes, you should. But, um, you know, this could be going through your mind, you know, getting tired of waiting on somebody, working on themselves here. So you could have this inner conflict or you could even be arguing with them with the five of wands. Maybe arguments with friends and family dur during this time with the five of wands also. The wheel of fortune. So if things are tough and you are waiting on them, like I said, it's because they're in these karmic trenches at the moment. So you could be waiting for things to turn around. This will actually be Mercury at the moment. So this is retrograding. So it means like things will feel even slower. So, you know, the waiting could feel like it's even more or pointless because things will slow down at this time. Seems like maybe, you know, you're going in a circle with this Wheel of Fortune and you're getting tired of this waiting. So this Five of Wands, you're asking, should I keep waiting? And what are you waiting for? Maybe you're waiting for communication of love, messages. Maybe you're waiting for an apology um, and you're getting tired of waiting. The Page of Cups there. Um, maybe they're acting immature as well at the moment with their, how they communicate with you and you're just getting tired of it at the moment here. But things will turn around. But right now, they'll probably feel like they're slowing down. I mean, this time frame that we're in, if you don't see this in July and we're out of the retrograde, um, maybe after a long time of waiting, and arguments here, you finally get that apology that you've been waiting for. King of Swords. So for me, the King of Swords in my readings is often a twin flame. So if you're in a twin flame relationship, this person could be with their karmic partner right now, or you can be with a karmic partner. Karmic doesn't mean negative, okay? 
Um, but this could just be you showing up in your reading. It will land on the seven of pentacles as well. So again, I feel like you're getting tired of waiting. Look how this king of swords is sat there. He seems impatient. So I do feel like it's more your energy getting tired of waiting for things to turn around here. Um, maybe you're waiting on this apology or even just a message or communication that, you know, they love you. I actually love you here. Maybe that's all you need to know right now. But right now they've got work to do. They're in these trenches. So, yeah, like I said, it could be another air sign, but we do have a water sign here. The younger water sign you could be dealing with. Earth sign, fire sign. We have them all. Oh, they both don't want to go back in. Let's have a look. Okay, um, the Emperor and the King of Wands here. So, strong indication of an Aries as well, but any fire signs, like we said. This person who's been quite stubborn um, and maybe even selfish with this King of Wands and this energy together, um, I feel like they're gonna when things turn around, they're going to have a fairer side of them. Um, they're going to start being more fair with you here, but I feel the other person is coming across as quite stubborn. Um, it's like they're sitting on their laurels here, you know, like they should be taking action, but he sat down here, this king of wands. So I feel like he's quite stubbornly sat down. So you could find during this time that this person is forced um, by the divine to make movement towards you here and drop this ego get up and take action um action needs to be taken when the king of wands shows up here but yeah i just feel like he's being a bit stubborn so somebody could be quite stubborn with you here libra they may have you stuck in this backwards and forwards so this is your energy and that's their energy and they could be talking about, oh, I'm going to do this and that, but not actually getting up and taking action. And like I said, during this time, it will slow down also. So it could be like a loop you're stuck in, I feel, like this backwards and forwards. Like they'll tell you, oh, yeah, like, you know, I'll do it, I'll do it. But, you know, this it seems to be like all talk and all air and they don't follow through on it you have to for example if you tell somebody i'm sick of telling you put the washing out and they say okay i'm going to put it out next time and then you still have to do it yourself so there's stubborn energy is coming through here but i feel like you're getting tired of it could be a significant age difference but i feel like you're getting tired of this ego this stubbornness this behavior you know them being all talk rather than action here with the king of wands and king of swords side by side seems like all talk no action and you're tired of it tired of waiting for things to change here it's probably why you feel in the karmic trenches things are changing too slowly for you here with the knight of pentacles and like i said they may even slow down at this time they may feel like they're stood still here. If it's a work situation, I would advise caution because um, there could be arguments at work here that affect your money. Um, so maybe you're needing to seek advice about work or money here as well. Just be very careful. Could be like um, an argument with family or friends because there's a lot of people here as well if we look at this differently. We have a page, we have two kings, a knight, and we have the five of wands also with five people in arguing and fighting amongst themselves here. The magician. So, something is manifesting. I just feel like it's annoying you because it's slow, but you are manifesting at this time. You are co-creating. Just remember that, that um, we are co-creating. So... You know, if it's you in these karmic trenches and you feel like you're having such a difficult time and waiting for them to turn around, remember we are a co-creator. Own your karma. Don't let your karma own you. Okay, guys? It's 
Ten of Swords. So it could feel like some of you are going through these tough, difficult times here, but this is about endings. Tens are about endings here. So yes, you've been through it. And yes, you feel like you've been stabbed in the back a number of times here, but don't be deterred. Keep going. Brighter days are coming. You know, the Ten of Swords is about, you know, things coming to an end. These tough times coming to an end. Just don't be deterred, Libras. It will manifest. It may feel slow um, and that somebody is refusing and being stubborn to change, but keep going. Good luck, guys.